Um, hi, everybody. My name is Terry McDonald. I'm uh, on the board of directors of, of uh, on Metroplex Metroplex Atheist Inc. and I was also also its treasurer. Uh, I'd like to everyone welcome everyone, uh, non-believers, believers, and those who aren't quite sure yet. Uh, I'll be introducing our speakers in a minute, uh, but first I'd like to make some announcements so those those here may learn a little about about more about who we are and about how the seminar is going to proceed. Metroplex Atheist Inc. is a 501c3 nonprofit organization, and when I say nonprofit. I mean that in every sense of the word profit. <laughs> our purpose as stated in our bylaws is to educate its members and the general public about the nature and the vital importance of the separation of church and uh, governments and religion as required by the First Amendment of the Constitution. We also want to educate members and the, the public about the nature and the vital importance of this, of, uh, I'm sorry, I'm lost. The intellectual validity and the individual and social values of atheism and the rejecting, rejection of all forms of supernaturalism. Two, we want to provide social meetings where members can come together with others of similar views and beliefs. And three, to protect the constitution and the civil rights of atheists as members of a free and open society. In the Dallas-Fort Worth area, we're considered the activist atheist group. If there's a violation in our area concerning the separation of church and state, we'll be the ones out pounding the pavement in protest, or writing letters, or talking to schools, or talking to public officials, whatever it takes. Our only source of income is through memberships donations and occasional uh, fundraisers. So if any of y'all would like to help us out, you might consider becoming a member or make, making uh, a donation today or sometime in the future. Uh, for cash don donations today, we have a couple of plastic jars uh, in our pickle jar that looks like a, if you want more privacy, we've got a pickle jar that looks like a, a book and it's, a, it's got a lock on it. Uh, all of our, our donation receptacles are called are called pickle jars. Too long a story to tell here. Why? <laughs> or if you prefer, we're able to take credit cards. To do this, please see me after the seminar. And if you'd like to visit us on our weekly social every Wednesday night, or if you'd like to come to our monthly business meeting to see if you'd like to become involved with what we do, you'd be most welcome. There are two banner-related items uh, that y'all may be interested in. T-shirts uh, with banner images are available online. Go to teespring.com. That's T-E-E-S-P-R-I-N-G.com. And when you get to the website, put in No God We Trust in their uh, search window. And there's three styles to choose from in addition to the one you've just seen. Or there's two others. And, and we get a little piece of each sale. Many people have expressed an interest in purchasing one or more of the banners when they come down. When they do, we'll uh, make announcements about their sales on our social media platforms. Or, just for today, if you pay for one through me and you send up, uh, we will send, you will be sent a banner as soon as we get them. Or, <clears throat> the price for the banners are $50 per banner plus whatever our uh, cost is for shipping. If you pay one for one today, shipping is free. If you're interested, talk to me after the seminar. Now, the purpose of this seminar is to educate people about the divisiveness and exclusive, exclusive, exclusionary <laughs> nature of, of our no, national motto. We are not here to talk about whether there, or not there's a God or to defend our uh, rights of free speech. I would like to encourage everyone to treat others here with respect and to duck, conduct any dialogues in a civil and courteous manner. Please, during the seminar, during the 15 minute break between the speakers and after the seminar is over, please be polite. As you probably know, our speakers today will be Metroplex Atheist President Courtney Stewart and author and prodigious blogger Arn Roth. 
you have any questions, please hold it until both speakers have spoken and we'll have a panel to answer questions then. So without further del delay, please, well, please welcome our president, but now that they've handed me something, to, uh, there's, t there's pamphlets on the table if you'd like to have one about us, uh, t-shirts on the table, any events and website. I can say that stuff there. Okay, and, and this lecture will be on the atheist edge. Yeah. So without further delay, please welcome our president, Courtney Stewart. Hi guys, thanks again for coming out. Um, so what what he was alluding to was uh, our uh, we have our Facebook page and our website, Metroplex Atheist, if you guys wanted more information about becoming members. Um, and there's always events going on over there. So um, we have weekly socials over by UTA. We have our business meeting, which we always welcome people to come to the business meeting. Um, it's usually just me and then the rest of the officers. So <laughs> um, so it's, it's great to get involved. And, and I think coming to the business meetings helps you become much more involved. Um, so yeah, again, thanks so much for coming. And, um, and I, I did want to kind of touch on what is our point? Because there's been a lot of controversy about the banners, about what we mean by what we're saying. Uh, the banners themselves just say, um, in no God we trust. And the point of that was to point out uh, the exclusionary nature of our current national motto, in God we trust, as we all know. Um, and it's, it's something that um, has gotten a lot of controversy and people are like, well, why are you picking on Christians? So we'll get to that too. Um, but so the, the, the point we're trying to make not only is that, but to call for a change of the national motto to return to its original, which is e pluribus unum, um, Latin for out of many, one. And it's a much more inclusive motto and it, it includes the perspectives of everyone instead of, um, of just Christianity. And I'm saying just Christianity because I'll get to that in a minute as well. Um, so, but first of all, why e pluribus unum? Well. Um, it is the original, it was there first. Um, so the, the letters of E Pluribus Unum, there are 13 of them, and they were, it was brought um, as a idea for the national motto in 1776. Um, and the reason there's 13 is for 13 colonies to uni uh, unify everybody. Um, and then it was um, adopted less, a little bit more officially in 1782 um, by an act of Congress. And so why isn't it still our motto? Well, um, there's a little thing called the McCarthy era that uh, made everybody a little bit scared and, uh, and it, there was a push to try and separate America from, um, from the quote unquote godless communists, right? So. Uh, the push for In God We Trust being put as the national motto and on money and, um, and seen as this sort of like unifying thing was sort of a way to make it seem as if America is a Christian nation. Um, and so that's very confusing. It's not only um, exclusionary, but it is confusing because it's not a Christian nation and a lot of people are very confused about that. Um, so. Why isn't America a Christian nation? Because um, we're not a theocracy. That we, many of the atheists in this room can understand that um, freedom of religion is freedom from religion. It's about religious freedom. And, and Terry was mentioning that uh, our point is not the First Amendment of um, free speech, it's freedom of religion. And, uh, and that's kind of the, the more central point that we're making. And of course, we do have the freedom to speak our minds and, and be open and honest with people about what we think. Um, so that's part of it, but our, sometimes that can sort of evade the message of what we're actually trying to do, which is represent freedom of religion. And, uh, and so that's a very important thing about America. That's what makes America the country that it is. Um, so why is it relevant today? I was asked that many times in my in my time being part of these banners. Um, there is a, an, a, like an official push by many groups to 
perpetuate this idea that America is a Christian nation. Um, and so again, people are very confused by the motto and, uh, and it can not only be confusing, but divisive. And, uh, and it is being used as a way to call anyone outside of the Christian narrative um, an American. And so that's why we wanted to do the banners and that's why um, it's relevant now. Uh, our group also did a protest of Pastor Jeffress uh, which some of you guys might know about. Um, he was giving a sermon and doing a whole billboard campaign saying America is a Christian nation. Um, so we were like, no, that's not the case. Uh, so we went and protested, not his right to say whatever he wants at his own pulpit. Um, that's not what we're about at all. But we do, do also have the right to stand next to him and, uh, and to correct when he's saying something not only wrong, but divisive and dangerous. And I think in the current political climate of division, um, it's, it's even more important to have um, a unifying motto that represents everybody. Um, and I've also been asked, like, why are you picking on the Christians? Because uh, it does seem like that, but if you think about it, all we're saying on the banner is, in no God we trust. We're simply stating where we are at um, and showing that it doesn't represent us instead of saying like Christians are dumb or America's terrible or whatever, like it's not what we're saying, uh, but it's kind of being perpetuated as that. Um, and so it is important for people to know what we are and what we aren't saying, um, which is that the motto is exclusionary and it doesn't represent all of America. Um, and also not all Christians feel that way. I've gotten lots of emails from people of different religions and Christianity saying like, hey, I support your right to say what you say and I agree with the idea that part of religious freedom is protecting the freedom of Christians as well as atheists to um, live the life that they see fit. So that's an important thing to have a distinction about. Um, and also just diversity is very important in American culture. I think it's what makes America, again, it's what makes America the, the country that it is and, and diversity of ideas. Um, is what is what holds our democracy together. Um, that unity is more important than ever because of our uh, our political divide. And then um, we're we're just here to to make that statement. And I've I've also gotten a an email from someone saying that we must be from out of the country if we think this. Um, <laughs> Yeah, if only they knew how many there are of us, right? Um, that you must have come from out of the country and you're making this argument and you're terrorizing the Christians and so um, you should leave, go back to your country and not be here. And that's, that's the most awful thing about the motto is that it makes people think that we're not here and, um, and that either we're not here or we're not Americans, that we don't need to be here. We don't have a place in the democracy. And my statement to that is that we are here, right? Um, and that, the, again, the perspective of different people is what makes America the country that it is. And, um, and to take that message away from our history as, as um, a country is, is a, a huge detriment to the Founding Fathers and to what the country represents in the history of the world. Um, and then finally, I think the reason that we're even doing this at all, of making the statement about the motto and causing this big ruckus, is the importance that if there's something not right about what your country is doing, I think it's, it's such an important thing to make that statement to your nation, try to make it better. Um, this idea of blind nationalism is something that we see in America right now, and, and that's really terrifying. Um, I think there's nothing more patriotic than to try and improve the country that you live in and um, and try to have it be a, more a reflection of the people. So thanks for coming. Um, thanks for supporting us and thanks for for being part of uh, of our little movement. Um, it's it's important to me and it's it's important to a lot of people. I've gotten emails from all across the country really. Um, saying like, hey, I'm glad you guys are doing this. I can't be a part of it. I don't have any money to give you, but rock on, you know? And so that's, I'm, I'm very grateful that we have that support and your support as well. So thank you again.